Good morning. Well, it's summertime, and summertime means barbecue time. Today, my very special guest, all the way from New York via London, via LA, <laughs> Adam Perry Lang and his new cookbook, Charred and Scruff. Welcome to my patio. Thanks for having me. So, what are we going to do today? One of your uh, favorite recipes from here? Well, yeah, this is a great recipe. It's called, uh, I call it the high low ribeye, and uh, it's really reflective of my cooking style, which is quite active. Okay. Jump right into it. Um, I, it well, first, with these are ribeyes. You've cut them really thick. Yeah, it's important thick. to point yeah. out. You know, because at the end, you know, I want it to be, uh, we're going to be cooking them slower, so I want it just to kind of carry through, so you'll have almost like a roast beefy inside, and the outside, we, you have time to really develop the crust. Okay, so, we have your salt. Yeah, this is a four-season blend. I call it that because we have uh, garlic salt, um, salt, uh, black pepper, and a pinch of cayenne. Okay. So I season it, but the thing that I'm doing is, is that I want it to, just to, these, these steaks are fairly wet, naturally, okay. so normally I can, if they're fairly like a dry aged steak, mm -hmm. I'll moisten my hands and then I create what's called a meat paste. Okay. okay. Yes. I want to point something out. I'm saving these scraps of fat and I'll get to that just in one okay. quick second, okay? The grill's fairly unoiled. You know, I have this herb brush here. I love this. So you, you attacked my rosemary bush. Yeah, I mean, I rosemary did. bush. There was nothing left. <laughs> There's nothing left. Yeah. And then you tied it on the back of a wooden spoon. Yeah. What a great idea. Yeah, it's just a way of adding um, extra flavor as extra well. Extra flavor. Yeah. And that's what this whole thing is about. It's about building and developing flavors. Okay. So we've just I got just a, little a little bit, bit of bit. butter, a little oil on there. Right now, I just have a little bit of butter. I just feel like doing it. Okay. Um, this now, is you a, have a basting sauce right, right now. You have some melted butter. Melted butter. And you've taken the fat. Yeah, okay. some of the scraps of the fat just to render it out. Okay. And we add some just some different things in here. So it seems like we have a little bit of soy, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Black pepper. Okay. That's going to be good. Some Fresh chili pepper. peppers. Yeah, here. Some olive oil. Okay. That's really interesting that you've kept the beef fat because it renders extra flavor too. Oh, yeah. Putting a little bit of acid in it. Okay. It just kind of just accentuates. Some lemon juice. Yeah, okay. exactly. Just kind of you can keep it just on the side of your okay. your, your grill. Okay. So it's it's cooking along here. See, it's going to stick. Yeah. That's a good thing. Okay. Because okay. it's going to kind of just like tear and just kind of increase the kind of it like fluffs out the meat a little bit. Okay. okay? So that's a good thing if it sticks. I like it. Okay. I like it, and um, the the end result you'll see will be more brown crust. Grill marks for me, if they happen, they happen. Yeah. But I want the whole thing to be brown, like a roast, because yeah. that's where all the flavor is, that Maillard reaction. You want to caramelize the whole exactly. top. Exactly. Okay. And already I'm flipping it well before someone would normally do it because it's almost blonde. What I'm going to do is, why it's called a high-low ribeye, is that I just got it going here, but I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to place it really up top here. What's going to happen is I'm going to cook it really slow and it's just going to kind of temperature through the whole meat is going to go through and it's going to be nice evenly cooked okay. and then we're going to drop it down and we're going to cook it even further. So how long does it stay up there? You're going to close the cover? And it's going to make more, even more like an oven. Right. Okay, it's been cooking. It looks probably, it's probably ready. Yeah. Okay. It's getting there. <laughs> but I've been flipping it. Uh, Flipping it and basting it. If it gets too hot, you can use your tongues yeah. just to use the brush. Now, we were talking, um, you like it nice and thick, about two inch cut, because you yeah. want to keep the moisture in, right? Yeah, it's, it's really about, uh, um, exactly, kind of like the cross between a steak and roast beef. Okay. You drop it down and then you can really just develop the crust. Now, I noticed you have a brick there that's covered uh, exactly. in foil. Exactly. You know, in this case, we're okay, but what I'll do is I'll take the steaks and I'll just give them like a little oh, friend to lean up against. To so lean, you can, so you, you cook, can do the edge, some of the sides. The edges, yeah. Oh, you I can use the side of that, and then you know you can do, do two at a time. Oh, I see, I see. So that's the concept. Okay. Just make a quick board dressing here. Okay. Take right a on there. Salt there, and use the, the salt as an abrasive. Okay. Like a Caesar salad, you know, and just work that garlic oh. into the into the board. Okay. Okay. So you have some garlic, and you have the salt, yep. pepper, dressing right on the board. Yeah, and, and I saw that steak on the grill. This is kind of important. And then you, you can you can vary. You can you can micro chilies. You can micro all sorts of stuff. Okay. The onion. You can do that with garlic as well. Yeah. But this is like this is like just a whole mix of some great great little tips. Great flavors. 
And so right when it comes off, it's sizzling. Oh, it's boom, sizzling right, inside. right into the. It smells great. Yeah. Oh my god. And that what it's going to do is also buys you some time because it's going to hold on to the the heat. Now, okay. you want to let it sit for how long before you slice it? I, I'd like to s slice it right away because, you know, the, rest, <laughs> the, the resting time is all going to happen because when you're eating outside, yeah. by the time you get to slicing it, I, I, you know, I'm like right into it practically. Yeah, so. yeah. You well, take the tips of your brush too. Ah, oh, some extra flavor yeah. from the rosemary and the herbs. That's wonderful. Okay. Like and then you and then you can separate out, you can separate out the decal take the fat sweet. out yeah. add some of that rosemary yeah. so as you slice it you want to toss it right into the okay i am dressing i my mouth is watering Typically, this is it will not even make it to the plate i mean that's why i try to, <laughs> I, that's why i try to encourage but you see this is what the the, the scruff and yeah. the chard is it's about having those crispy bits and this is great. Well, today, my very special guest, Adam Perry Lang, his new book, Chard and Scruff. Thanks a lot for coming all this way, London, New York, yeah. and your new home in L.A. Yes, yes. Welcome to the West Coast. Thanks for having me. Till next time, have a great day. Happy barbecuing. Thanks, Nathan. And we have two copies of Chard and Scruff to give away. Email us at weekendnews at globaltv.com for your chance to win and put the book name in the subject line. Good micro luck. grating. Mm -hmm. Micro grating. Wow, that looks delicious. You got a little. Uh... I was drooling. Honestly, I was. <laughs>